In its prime, the pyramid's red core is clad in a layer of gleaming white casing stones. A shining capstone crowns the top of this perfect pyramid. Surrounded by a perimeter wall, on its eastern side, a temple, where offerings are made to the dead pharaoh. Mysterious hieroglyphs are carved on the internal surface of the pyramid. Can they reveal who is the mastermind behind the world's first true pyramid? Meredith translates the hieroglyphs to reveal the name of the pharaoh behind this pioneering structure. This is an image of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. There's a folded cloth here, and that's an S sound. And then this sign next to it is the lungs and esophagus of an animal. And that sound is nefer. And to complement the sound, you have a small horned viper, which is an F and an open mouth, an R. And below that, is a quail chick that sounds like ooh. So when you put it together, it reads Sneferu. This royal name, Sneferu, is clear evidence of both the builder and the date of the Red Pyramid. It is thought Sneferu's reign begins in 2613 BCE. He is the first pharaoh in Egypt's fourth dynasty. Sneferu ascends the throne by marrying the royal heiress Heteferis and sets to work putting his own stamp on Egypt. Before his reign, a pharaoh was believed to be the reincarnation of the falcon god Horus. But Sneferu is a devout follower of the sun cult and sees himself as the living embodiment of Ra, the sun god the supreme divinity. Sneferu wants his final tomb to assist his resurrection to join Ra after death. 